The outperformance of commodities against equities that we've seen for most of the year ended in May. Precious metals, agriculture and softs all dragging down the Dow Jones UBS index. Oil, though, still a winner. As we move into June, we're, we're going to see uh, demand stay elevated, especially in the US. The gasoline uh, the driving season is coming. Libyan oil supplies are still uh, really only down to a trickle. Um, elsewhere, we, we, we're obviously seeing uh, good support for, for WTI because uh, speculative investors as well have been uh, flocking back into oil. We've seen uh, the net long uh, just over just during the last week of May rise to a new record. So, uh, so at the moment, speculative longs are, are bigger now than when we saw the Libyan war when we had Arab Spring. So, uh, so really, they're really looking for further gains. Gold lost more than 3% in May, silver's down too. What's going on? Well, just as we've seen uh, equity markets put in a strong performance during May, this really has reduced the, uh, the, the need for alternative investments in your portfolio. And, and obviously gold and silver has been suffering there. Also, there's been quite a bit of attention on uh, palladium and platinum instead. And just towards the end of the month, after really several weeks of range-bound trading, we had a technical break to the downside. And, uh, and that really has, uh, has led to this weakness they've seen in, in, during the month. What goes up must come down. Corn and notably wheat, big monthly fallers. Some of the key agricultural commodities uh, ran into quite a bit of selling and I th if you look for reasons we probably just have to look out the window across the northern hemisphere. The, the spring has arrived, we had some, uh, we got some good uh, planting weather so, uh, so planting progress is uh, going at a very good speed in the US. If you look elsewhere in Europe as well it's, it's going really well. So at the moment the, the outlook for, for the wheat harvest and also to a certain extent corn harvest this autumn is, is looking basically for a bumper crop and that's put the price under pressure.